Well, hey, everybody, it's me, Kurt. Can you believe it? It's been so long. Where have you guys been? Like, seriously, where have you been? I've been right here. So I don't know where everybody else has been because I haven't seen any of you in like 20, it feels like 20 years. Seriously, where have you been? Uh, I want to start by saying this has not been sponsored by anybody. I get no money for this. Trust me. I don't get anything for this. It's just I thought, hey, this is probably something a lot of people deal with. And so why don't I just share the experience? And maybe this will help you out if you guys are in the same position as I am. Do you guys sleep okay? Because I was having trouble. I, I was so stressed. Uh, 2020, I have been, I was so stressed in 2020, like beyond stressed. And I was, it was starting to cause health issues and do all this stuff. And I was gaining weight and doing all this mess. But one thing, I wasn't sleeping well. And it turns out that the mattress I had was, it's like a, I had a king size mattress, but I've had it for about nine, eight or nine years. It started to get those, the grooves in it where you sleep in the same place over and over. And it just started to get the, the dip in it. So I, I got to looking online, there's a thing called bed in a box and it's these companies that do mattresses and they ship them to you in a box. When you open it up, the, there's a full size mattress comes out of there like magic. So I got fascinated. So I went down the rabbit hole of the YouTube and started watching videos of people unwrapping their mattress, their bed in a box mattresses. And I was fascinated. And I didn't really care about the reviews as much as just watching those mattresses come out of the plastic and just go. It's like when you were a kid, did you ever get one of those sponges and it's like add water and it grows 30 times its size. And as a child, you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be the size of a house. And then you do it and it goes from this big to like, you know, that big, like it's a sponge. Um, but anyway, so I was just fascinated. I went down the rabbit hole of that. So I started doing research. I am a heavier person. I am over 200 pounds easily. Uh, especially after last year, I am, <laughs> I am way over 200 pounds. Um, however, I started doing research and most mattresses are gauged, their firmness is gauged on people from 150 to 185 pounds. I did not know that. So when a mattress says it's like the ultimate firm, it's ultimately firm for 180, 150 to 185 pound person. So, well, somebody like me, when I get on there, I'm 6'2", and 2 -ish, and I got on there, and so the mattress will feel different to me. So I started, I found out that there's all these reviews for heavy sleepers, and it doesn't mean you sleep heavily, it means that you are a heavier person who sleeps. I thought, I need to spend the money, because you spend a third of your life sleeping in bed, um, I need to get a good mattress. One bed kept coming up. It wasn't ever at the top. It wasn't ever at the bottom, but it was like for 2021, it's a place called Wink Beds, W-I-N-K-B-E-D-S.com, winkbeds.com. It is a factory in Wisconsin that makes mattresses. And I watched, they have a couple of videos out just sort of like, here's what we do at the factory. Um, it showed the people putting it together. Like it's not put together by machines. It's actually hand put together. And some of it is hand sewn and hand stitched. And... I was fascinated. They have one called Winkbed Plus. Uh, they have luxury firm and all this other kind of stuff. They have like three other kinds of firmness, but but Winkbeds Plus is the firmest mattress they have. So I started watching all the comparison videos and it just seemed like, oh, I should check this out. So the cool thing about it, what made me order it is I started looking. Their warranty, they have a lifetime warranty on this mattress. You get 180 days to try it out they require you to keep it for at least 30. And after 30 days, if you are not happy with it and you just want to return it, they will pick it up for free. The shipping is already free. They will pick it up for free and they'll refund every cent of your money. If you think this mattress is too soft or too firm, if you get the firmest one and you're like, this is way too firm, I need something softer, they will replace it after 30 days for $49. They'll replace it with one of their other mattresses. So you get the other mattress, you can try that out. You have 60 days if you get the new mattress, so 60 days. But at the end of this 120 day trial period, if you love it, you keep it. If 10, 15, 20 years down the road, you're like, I don't like the comfort level of this mattress anymore. You can order a new one through Wink Beds for half price because you have already been a customer of theirs. 
And the king size plus wing, wing beds plus that I got was normally $1,900. Um, and they always offer a $300 off coupon. That's like always. Just you can find one anywhere on coupon codes online, that kind of thing. Or they just offer a special or whatever. So I, I got it for, it was $1,600. And then the tax on it, because the shipping is free, the tax on it raised it up to like, it was like right at $1,800, I think was most of the tax. But it shipped, got shipped to my house. I got it within two weeks. It took a, a little over two weeks to get it from the day I ordered it. And uh, so I made sure, I was so excited. I swear it was like Christmas for me. So I was so excited. So I I filmed everything. I even have my doorbell camera footage of the, of the UPS lady, the FedEx lady delivering it. And so we pulled it in the house, we cut open the box and it's rolled up and it looks like a long beer keg is the best way to describe it. So we pulled it into the bedroom, put it on the frame and we started cutting the plastic, the, the plastic that holds it all together. Now the whole thing, there's a machine in the company and I saw it quickly in the video. It's a machine that presses it down, pre presses the whole mattress down and seals it in a plastic bag. So it is like that thick. It is like maybe three inches thick, four inches thick on the inside once they've compressed it down. Now this is a normally 13 inch tall mattress and it has two sets of coils on the inside. It has a set of like seven inch coils and then a layer, three inch layer of latex and then it has three inch micro coils and another pillow top on it that's made out of, of gel. And it's this cool like mushy gel. It's like what's in a, a tennis shoe. They said that's the best way to describe it. It's sort of like a, a a shoe insole fiber, but it's thick. So it's like another couple of inches on the top of a pillow topping, but it's very extremely supportive. There's extra support springs around the outside of the mattress. So if you roll over to the edge, it doesn't squish down and you roll out. It feels supportive the whole way around. Um, so we got it, we put it on the bed, we unrolled the, the plastic and we were gonna unroll the mattress, but all of a sudden we started hearing a noise and it, the mattress started inflating and it was still in the plastic. So I was freaking out. We're trying to unroll it. So we get it unrolled on the bed and I get the scissors and I start cutting it. And the minute I cut it with scissors, it goes and inflates to the full 13 and a half inch thick mattress. So we started checking it out, looking at all the hand stitching, looking at the pillow topping on the top. Um, it is very, very well crafted. Uh, we got this about a week and a half ago. So I have been sleeping on this mattress for a week and a half. It's comfortable. It is extremely supportive. I lay on my back and my side when I sleep. Uh, and I feel there's a couple of, of videos out there that show a guy laying on his side on a mat on top of the mattress that shows where pressure points are and how much pressure. And he tried some different ones that have like really red zones on his hips and his shoulder. And on the swing beds, it was like a light blue color. It was like just a little bit more pressure on his shoulder and hips than anywhere else. So the mattress really forms to your body, uh, which I was desperately needing. I am sleeping well. I'm sleeping really well on this. I think it's, it's, it's a, it just feels good. I feel like when I lay on my back, every single part of my body, like on my back is, is supported by the mattress. I feel it all the way down. But I feel like in my old mattress, there were parts of me that when I was laying on the back, you didn't feel the mattress up against your skin. Whereas this one, I feel like it's under my entire body. So it's, it's kind of extraordinary. The other thing I got from them was a pillow and it was called the Adjust-A-Cube pillow. So I got the Adjust-A-Cube, it came the same day as the mattress. And what it is, it's got this really, really nice fabric. I don't know what the fabric is on the outside, but it is really, really plush, comfy outside fabric. Then you unzip that and inside there's another cover and it's that gel foam. It's the same gel foam that is in the pillow topper on the mattress. And it's this blue foam and it's really squishy and it comes back rather quickly, but it's just, it's nice foam. Well, then you unzip that and the pillow is stuffed with these one inch blue cubes of the foam that is in the pad. That's what the pad is made up in the pillow topper. And, but it's one inch cubes. And the reason they did it in one inch cubes you can't feel it. There's enough padding on the outside of it and everything. You don't feel the individual cubes. But the reason they do that is that they can adjust around on the inside. You can pull a bunch of cubes out if you want it to be a flatter pillow or you can stuff more in to make it very firm. Okay, I have to say the one thing 
uh, I don't like about buying pillows in a store is that you can't lie down on them. You can't put your head on them and lay in the floor in the store. <laughs> you can't do it. So you have no way of trying them out on your actual bed um, to fi figure out if, if they're comfortable or not. This one, this I've got the all the fill that came in it is still inside there, and it actually feels really, that feels comfortable to me. I know it looks lumpy, but you don't feel, those are just the little cubes all in it, and you don't feel that at all laying on it. Even when I put my hand on it, it's kind of hard to feel it. You feel this outer cover, which is really nice on this, and I'll put a pillowcase on it. And I tend to use bamboo sheets. I don't know what you guys use. Um, I discovered bamboo sheets a few years ago, and they are the most comfortable cooling. I sleep kind of hot, so they are very cooling sheets uh, to have. So, um, but just having this, I'm gonna try it out for a little while, just completely stuffed and see uh, if you leave all the stuffing in, that's supposed to be firm. Um, if you take part of the stuffing out, that's medium. If you take a lot of the stuffing out, that's that's soft. So, um, but I kind of I kind of like the firmness. I might take a little bit out, but not too much. I'm I'm kind of liking this. And the cubes in it. The cool thing about it is that the cubes inside the house. This how's this for an angle for for me to talk? Um, the cubes inside of it are made of that gel foam that's in the pillow top on the mattress. That's what this is made of. And the outer layer, that little blue cover on the inside, is also made of the same material that's in the top of the pillow topping on the mattress. Okay, there you have it. There's my review of winkbeds.com, W-I-N-K-B-E-D-S.com, uh, their Wink Beds Plus mattress and the Wink Beds Adjust a Cube pillow. I think it's a win. Um, if you guys are checking out mattresses, check them out. What have you got to lose? And uh, I hope this was informative. And I hope you guys are doing good. I don't, there's really, honestly, I've been doing voiceovers from home. I miss my Vokta family so much. We had a couple of things around Christmas that were fun, but I, I don't get to see them. I see one or two people every now and then. Um, just, you know, safe, safe distancing visits and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I really miss the group. I hope you guys are still enjoying the new CD. Yes, our teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Anyway, that's all I got going on. Are you guys, um, we just got Disney Plus at Christmas. It's been a while. I know we're behind. And so we're catching up on The Mandalorian and all that. But are you guys watching WandaVision? If you're a Marvel Comics fan, I'm just saying the, the most recent episode, which was episode four, if you gave up after the first three episodes, please don't. Please go back and watch the fourth one because it made everything worth it. It just came out yesterday. So when I'm filming this, it's Saturday the 30th, 29th, whatever day this is. Um, but the episode four just came out yesterday and it's actually wonderful. So uh, I hope you guys are having fun. If you've got any fun topics or fun anything you would like for me to chit chat about, I'm trying to stay relevant and uh, stay connected to you guys. And I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're all safe. I am jonesing so bad to go back out and tour and sing and meet people. And uh, I hope you guys are, are doing well. And we'll talk to you soon, okay? So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. You will be found.